Let's create a new NX workspace. This will be a project for building various online stores. And I'll use the Angular preset so it sets everything up for Angular development. I'll initialize a single Angular app for now called Bike Store. Let's default to using SAS for style sheets. And we get an interesting question now. Do we want to use TSLint or ESLint? Let's see what happens if we select ESLint. And I'll say no to NX Cloud for now. We'll enable that manually in a bit. If we navigate to our new workspace and open it up in VS Code, we'll see it still has a familiar angular.json file at the root. And if we open up the apps folder, we'll see our bike store Angular app in there. So if you have used the Angular CLI before, everything should feel familiar at this point. But if we open up our bike store app, we'll notice an ESLint file in here, which extends from another root level ESLintRC file, which has a bunch of default rules, and also allows us to add some custom ones. All of these work right now in our components. It's all pre-configured for us. And there's no trace of the deprecated TSLint library. You can be sure ESLint is going to be around for a while and get the full support of the open source community. We also see we have a jest config file in here. Annex bootstraps your components with the jest test runner by default. Jest has incredible docs, super powerful and simple to use APIs, and it's fast very, very fast. And NX wires everything up for you. It even generates some sample tests so you can focus on what really matters. Oh, and notice how when we created our app and workspace, it created a second app as well, a bike store end-to-end -end folder. This is a fully configured, ready-to-go Cypress test suite that launches our app and starts clicking through it. And a starter test has been pre-generated for us that's linked to our app. And I can open up my terminal and launch this directly through the Angular CLI. And it's going to start going for my tests, of which I only have one at the moment. Cypress provides the best end-to-end -end testing experience for the web. Tests are genuinely fun to write, as you're mostly describing in English how you expect a user to be clicking around your app. Your tests then run in an actual browser, and you can see them executing, and can click on the various testing steps and go back in time and see the app exactly how it was at that point. If there's a failure, Cypress will record a video, a screenshot of the point where it failed. The developer experience with Cypress is incredible, and NX configures it all for us, so it works out of the box with all our generated Angular apps. And the Cypress experience doesn't stop here. Let me generate a lib. And let's say I want a shared component, a header. While this looks a bit new, it's just a schematic that came pre-installed with our NX workspace, the Narwhal Angular Lib schematic. Now, if I run this and select SAS again for the style sheets, we'll see that it generated something in the libs folder. A lib is just a reusable, well-encapsulated piece of functionality. Think of it as like your local NPM packages that you haven't published. Currently, it doesn't do much and just contains an empty Angular module file. But now let's actually generate a component in here. I'm also going to call the component header and let's generate it in the header lib that we just created. Now we have an actual physical component in here. And since it's a shared component, let's add the storybook configuration to it. I'll first install the Narwhal storybook schematics. And now that they're installed, let's use them to generate some stories for the header. I'll say yes to adding Cypress tests. I do want to generate some default story files to get us started, and also some default Cypress spec files. That's it. I now have a reusable shared component with some default generated storybook stories. I can now launch the component in its own storybook instance, and I can test it out in the playground by clicking this link. So NX allows you to build design systems, collections of reusable components and standards that help your team and your organization stay consistent by reusing these shared components. And earlier, we told our command to generate Cypress tests. And I can go to the apps folder and open up the generated tests for this. If I run them, it will launch an isolated storybook playground for our component and start running our Cypress tests against it. NX makes it that easy to develop well-tested design systems. Working in an NX workspace also makes your Angular CLI commands much faster because it provides local computation caching enabled by default. That means that if I run build, wait for it to finish, and then run it again, it will finish almost instantly the second time. 
That's because it keeps track of what files changed. And if it sees you trying to run the same command against the exact same set of files, it just pulls the previous results from the cache. And if that sounds cool, let me add NX Cloud to the project. That's it. I've just enabled free distributed computation caching. All I need to do now is commit my changes, push, and tell everyone to get latest. Now, if anyone in my team, including our CI, runs commands, we'll just reuse each other's outputs instead of redoing the work over and over again. And that's all without any configuration or any changes to your developer's current workflows or how they run commands. And NX is a fully integrated development experience. You don't need to know any of the commands you just saw. You can just install the VS Code NX plugin, which lets you see the most common NX workspace commands, all of the available schematics, and you can just click around and select options from dropdowns. And then there's the NX Cloud GitHub bot, which gives you detailed reports of which commands were successful and which ones failed on your PRs. And then gives you a nice UI to easily spot and filter to the root of the problem. A godsend when you want to ask a remote team member for help and you don't want them to dig through pages of CI logs. NX builds on top of Angular and its CLI. It allows you to continue using the same workflows you're used to, but it wires in modern tooling like Jest, ESLint, and Cypress. You can easily build up design systems with Storybook and Cypress, and it does all that work much faster with zero config, local, and distributed computation caching, and gives you that integrated development experience to run commands directly in your editor through a nice UI and inspect and share your CI outputs directly on your GitHub PRs.